In the Iron Age, Uralic folks inhabited Vladimir and Ivanova regions of Russia. Later, these Iron Age inhabitants would give rise to Maria and Mari people of Russia. Some Russian scholars speculate that the Mari people descend from an eastern offshoot of Marians who migrated due to pressures from expanding Slavs. Iron Age inhabitants of Vladimir and Ivanova regions were not a homogenous group, although all of them carried Siberian and Baltic ancestry. I even excluded one sample from this video because I discovered it has not enough Siberian ancestry and is too similar to Bronze Age Balts. Out of the Iron Age Volga samples I did include in this video, BOL002 has the lower Siberian ancestry and the highest Baltic affinities, whereas BOL001 has the highest Siberian ancestry and affinities to Mansi and Kani people of West Siberia. I included the following samples in my analysis of Iron Age inhabitants of Ivanova and Vladimir regions. I color-coded them by amount of Siberian ancestry with the most Siberian samples being labeled in light purple and the most Baltic samples being labeled in light green. Two samples were predicted to have an East Eurasian phenotype, namely Amerindian, although most samples received West Eurasian phenotype predictions. Here is a morph of the average phenotype. The most common eye color among all the samples was brown, but there were three samples with a blue eye color prediction and one sample with green eyes. Almost every sample had brown or black hair, but one sample did receive a dark blonde hair prediction. The most common predicted skin color was olive, but two samples also scored light brown skin and two samples received white skin prediction. The most common predicted hair texture was straight, but two samples also had wavy and curly hair. The most common predicted nose shape among the samples was snub, but three samples also received Greek nose shape predictions. Five samples had high odds of baldness. Most samples were predicted to be shorter than average, with two samples receiving an above average height prediction. The Volga samples had average odds of kidney stones overall, average predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, and low predisposition to migraine. The Volga samples had average odds of lupus, low odds of gout, and low odds of eczema. The Volga samples had low odds of polycystic ovary syndrome, high odds of age-related cataract, and low odds of age-related macular degeneration. The Volga samples had average odds of epilepsy, average odds of asthma, and low odds of vitiligo. The Volga samples had average odds of myopia, average odds of corneal astigmatism, and average odds of primary biliary cirrhosis. The Volga samples were slightly predisposed to the warrior phenotype, higher dopamine levels, and poorer stress tolerance. Every sample scored intermediate for D2 receptor availability. The Volga samples had average odds of Tourette's, average odds of ADHD, high odds of depression, and low odds of bipolar 1. The Volga samples were strongly predisposed to higher odds of autism, with six samples scoring high odds of autism, one sample scoring intermediate, and one sample scoring lower for odds of autism. Five samples were predicted to be lactase persistent. Two samples had lower levels of empathy, five samples had intermediate, and one sample had higher levels of empathy. Regarding athleticism, the athletic or allele in ACTN3's R577X was overrepresented among the Volga samples, suggesting they were more athletic than average Europeans. The Volga samples had a high predisposition to epithelial cancer based on 8Q24 genotypes. The Volga samples had average odds of breast cancer, average odds of glioma, high odds of thyroid cancer, and very high odds for testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes. Moving on to blood cancer, the Volga samples had average odds of polycythemia vera based on JAKE, two genotypes, and average odds of leukemia. They had average odds of allergies, and only two of eight samples carried rare risk variants for spina bifida. The Volga samples had lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. Despite this, for samples still had high odds for ankylosing spondylitis. One sample had high odds for rheumatoid arthritis. Three samples had high odds for type 1 diabetes. And two samples carried DRB1 risk variants for multiple sclerosis. The Volga samples had high odds of type 2 diabetes and low odds of Alzheimer's. The Volga samples had a high predisposition to obesity, with four samples scoring higher and four samples scoring average odds of obesity.
The Volga samples had a predisposition to higher homocysteine levels with two samples scoring high homocysteine level and six samples scoring average. The Volga samples had average odds of ischemic stroke, average odds of atrial fibrillation, average odds of deep vein thrombosis, and high odds for a wide range of cardiovascular issues. The Volga samples had average odds of alcoholism and higher odds of syncope. The Volga samples were predisposed to higher vitamin D levels, which is good, but also to higher LDL cholesterol, which is bad. The Volga samples had lower red blood cell count, average telomere lengths, which leads to intermediate lifespan, and normal iron levels. No sample was predicted to have hemochromatosis, but one sample did have low iron levels approaching anemia. The most common blood type among the Volga samples was A, which five people scored, followed by O, which two people scored, and lastly followed by B, which one person scored. Thank you for watching my video until the end. Download links for my trait predictor, which was used to gather this data, will be in description, along with the download links for the eight raw DNA files.